Good morning, good afternoon and good evening my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to another session of Q&A, question and answers from the general conference. We are having a, a very special topic today to discuss because so many questions we received, clarifications and information about this subject. What are we talking about today? We are going to talk about Kibaha Adventist Institute in Africa. So we are going to talk about it and uh, are going to find answers to many of these uh, questions that you have asked about the programs we are having. And uh, we have Sister Raquel Ose with us. Sister, welcome to this Thank program. You. Sister so Raquel much. is the um, uh, publishing department leader and also coordinating the Kibaha Institute uh, in, uh, in, in terms of Biblical Science or Bible Science uh, unit. So before we begin today's program, let's ask Lord's guidance with a prayer and His presence. Let's pray together. Our most loving, gracious Father in heaven, we thank you, Father, for this moment thou art given us as a blessing. Be among us, Father, and help us to find answers for many questions that the viewers have asked. And be with all the viewers. And Lord, we pray especially for Kibaha Institute and the Bible Science course and also those who are intending to join this school. Lord, continue to bless us, Father. Continue to be among us. Give us thy Holy Spirit guidance, all these mercies and pardon for our sins. We ask in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Okay. Can you please explain to us, and this is not the first program we are doing about Kibaha. In the past also we did another program mm -hmm. and uh, because it's a popular demand we are trying to have another program in the uh, about Kibaha today because so many questions we have received. Sister can you explain to me about what Kibaha Institute is and yes. especially the Bible science course? Yes um, I am very glad that uh, you decided to establish this program now about this subject especially because this coming Monday is the beginning of the second intake of uh, Berea Biblical Institute. That is an institution established in Tanzania, Africa, and that is an online platform of learning uh, Bible science. It's a semester. We uh, recently uh, finish the first intake. This will be, as I have say, um, uh, Monday 18 this month uh, will begin the second intake. So um, I can introduce a, a general overview about this program. Uh, this is open for every single member of our church. The limitation of age is from 18 and onward. So we expect that um, a person that at least have a basic knowledge, um, a personal experience with God, um, go and establish a, a very fundamental knowledge about the Bible, the vital doctrine of, of Adventism and at the same time also find a motivation to become active and committed to missionary work activities in the local church or even if feel the call of the Lord for a foreign missions program. So it's, it's very significant to understand that from a, a member toward um, a Bible worker or an officer inside of the church organization or even for ministers that didn't have the opportunity because of time or um, was not available at that time 
to go through this uh, fundamental understanding of um, our not the our the Bible and the general doctrine that we have in the church based on Bible and testimonies. So that is an online platform. So you can do it from any place where you are. A time zone is not an issue uh, by the fact that um, the due dates are established according to days, not according to time. So you have a completely overview of this work. You have also a tutor. You have um, a, a personal administrator of the online course that you can consult, that you can share your maybe technical issues. But what you absolutely need is number one, to be a member. You need to fill all the applications we will show after where are located and how to do it. So you need to be a member. You need to be proficient in English so far that you will be able to comply with all the assignments and the right understanding of the lectures. Um, that is the second very fundamental element. So the number one is to be a member. The second one is uh, to understand English and to be able also to write your assignments and follow the lectures um, without any limitations. Because, of course, if, if you are unable to understand everything, mm, your results will be also not very uh, satisfying at this moment. So, to be a member, uh, to speak English, um, and to have a very strong motivation to know Bible and testimonies uh, in a very active and inter-connectivity uh, um, through this online platform. So these are basic and fundamental requirements. Okay. As an introduction, we can introduction, go more yes. details. Yes. Yeah, we can go into details because there are so many questions I have. So you answered like, okay, the first question is actually, it's an actual question that we are, we are receiving the exact words. And uh, it says, okay, who can study at Kibaha? Because mm -hmm. the, the, the person who asked this, if someone is not a member of the church, but maybe a Protestant, can he be a student of Kibaha to whom are the courses directed and is there any age limit? These are the questions that, mm -hmm. you know, one person asked this question and uh, all these questions I think you answered yes. and uh, one clarification and you said that, okay, the person has to be a, definitely a member of our church. Yes. Then, then uh, in, in that event, only baptized members can be students of this institute. That is right. It's clear. Yes. Then you mentioned about 18 plus years. Okay. Any age limit? The upper limit? No, it's no limit. If the person is able to read, to write, to fulfill the assignment, it's not limitation. If it's okay. 60, 70. Yeah. Okay. And uh, okay, these are the these are the fundamental the the answers or question about question number one. I go to the question number two. Here we have that, okay, what are the requirements in terms of prior education in order to study at Kibaha? What are the requirements do you, uh, I mean, do you have specified? What kind of qualification as a pre-enrollment qualification? Yes. Um, after we will go to the website and we will see all the specifics about this subject, but in general, um, we wish that the prospect student feel a commitment uh, to religious study because um, when, when you see the applications you will see that one of the questions is um, how you become converted. Can you explain to us a personal experience that you have with Jesus? So what we believe is that the Bible is inspired by God, need to be considered with reverence, with respect and high esteem. 
So um, it's, it's not only that we become members because of tradition, because of um, influence from the exterior forces in our lives, but that is a member that is committed, that is converted, and not only convinced of the truth. Um, a second element that is very, very important is that if English is not the mother tongue of the student, at least need to have an average level of high school in order to assimilate the English level that is presented in the course. So that is um, a need by the fact that the student feel that uh, he will be able to develop to the maximum potential the knowledge and express himself at the same level because the entire uh, course is in English language. So that is extremely significant. In all the writing assignments, we don't require uh, perfection in expression, but at least the student need to be able to express himself in English in a, such a way that is correctly and understood uh, from, from the instructor in order to assess uh, the homework or, or the quizzes in general in the right way. Something that is very, very important here is that one part of this study has to do with uh, practical work. So it's not only that uh, in this course they learn theoretical knowledge about the Bible, prophecy, administration, or principles of faith, but also they know how to do missionary work. So the last three months of this um, Bible science um, certificate is based on uh, work in the field under the union or the field where the student is uh, physically located. So need to be somebody willing to uh, commit to serve the churches, the administration in the local area where they are. If that is not the case, that is an isolated member and is not an extended version of the organization in this new developed country in the message, we will provide for him a specific assignments in the practical area. So these are extremely significant requirements. Thank you very much. So, uh, I have a, a question number three. It goes uh, into language proficiency. And you already mentioned it is going to be in English only. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, if someone does not speak English well, and do you provide any translation or anything they ask? Um, no, it's not translation. Uh, the lectures are all record recorded in videos and is in English language. All the quizzes, all the assignments need, are in English and need to be answered and done in English. So at this moment, so um, English at least at the level of um, high school is needed to follow up with the content. Yes. High school is needed for the... Yeah. I think so, <laughs> and that is because we had a level of middle school or until um, level 6 or grade 7 and 8, but if somebody lives in a country that the, the official language is not English and only have a primary education, I think um, they will struggle with understanding and even more to communicate and write down the assignments. So that is the recommendation in order to realize uh, not only um, the commitment to the content, but also the responsibility toward the assignments. Okay, I have another extended question on that. So they're asking whether you have any uh, entrance exam to check on the English knowledge before, prior to their enrollment? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, we are only for the students who are not coming from English right. speaking countries. Yeah, uh, we are working on that and we hope to implement it in future intakes, but at this specific moment, uh, we don't um, have okay. this mm -hmm. option and we trust that the student um, understand. is understand um, and because you pay your first enrollment fee um, and, and, and when you are in the first or the second class uh, you realize okay you cannot follow um, you don't get not even half uh, of the content in the correct way of understanding then need to be clear for you um, that you cannot follow so far. Okay, now from question number four onwards they are asking about what kind of cost is involved and what are the programs you have. I think uh, you have a website if you can explain. Yes, of I course. think that will give yes. us uh, give us more uh, clarity yes. when we are going with the next questions. Absolutely. So let me um, set up um, in front of you so that we can work on that and show to you. So we have here our uh, website and you have here first of all the general overview about our certificate in biblical science. Uh, and you have a general overview about the profile, the objective, and the vision of it. Something that is very significant here to understand at this point is uh, what is generally included in this uh, specific certification. So let me go through shortly about that. So what we have is a minimum of 60 credits in a period not superior to a semester. Um, the ideal is a minimum overall grade point average, the GPA of 3.0. Uh, all financial obligations need to be settled with Kibaha. And I is, uh, need the recommendation by the faculty for graduation. So that are the basic at this point. Here you have a general overview with the syllabus about um, the general subjects. So we have here science of salvation, principles of faith, bibliology, basic evangelization, homiletics, prophecy, administration, and organization. Uh, so let us go one more time back to the website because you, if you press on syllabus you will be able to see all the content for every single um, subject. But you have here the section for the application and that is very, very significant. So you have here Kibaha and you have all the different data uh, there to fulfill and as I have mentioned for example how do you describe your conversion experience with this your religious knowledge what Bible prophecy do you consider the most important and so forth so we try also not only to have this personal process of application but also, as you see here, our general um, start of classes, in this case will be September the 8th, um, are, are different elements of applications. And you have here the four forms. Because at this moment is um, distance study, you don't need the health report form but the application form I already show you. Then we have the reference letter from the field and the reference letter for the church. And let me show you for a moment so that you can see it clearly. So that is already a template ready for you. Uh, you need only the specific information about your local church, your name, and the text is already available here to facilitate to you. So, but need to be signed by the field committee um, with um, the approval of it that they recommended you as a member it 
good standing, and that is need the level of field and uh, local church. Um, further on, you need for your application to add um, several documents, as we have mentioned here, the application form that I show you first, then the reference letters that you have here, then you need to add your transcripts, that is the official records of the level of academical education that you achieve with the test scores. Um, then you need to prove that you are able to pay or somebody have sponsored you. Uh, what we want to explain to you is that this is not refundable. Okay, so if you register, if you are accepted, you will receive a communication from the administration office of Kibaha that you are accepted as a um, student and then from this moment on your responsibilities are very clear in the process of payment and responsibility toward quizzes test. Let us have also the general diagram of the studies according to credits. Uh, we have lectures, we have tutorials, we have practical, and we have written assignments. So this is the general distribution of hours per semester. We have seven subjects from theoretical uh, lectures with a total or of 60 credits. And we will go more in detail uh, to clarify credits based on academical elements. Now, uh, the fees uh, include um, something that is uh, separated from the payment of credits. So the application fee is $25. Um, all that pay this application fee and are accepted receive a communication from our side. Then apart, we have the research and dissertation. Uh, the last part of the certification is $200. Uh, the title is $75 and we have now a special price for this intake and the credit union, unit in a state to be $50 will be $15. This means that the 60 uh, credits with the application fee, the research and dissertation tutoring and the title come to a total of $1,000. $200. That is the completely payment for the Bible science. Now, we have scholarships available, we have internships available, and uh, if you uh, are struggling for pay, for, to pay the tuition, uh, please go into the website and you will find the different ways of apply for scholarships and also for internship if this apply at this moment. So that is the general overview. So overview. Far. Okay. 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 Now uh, you mentioned about the fee structure. Yes. And uh, I like to know. I like to know from you, sister, that uh, a student. We'll say that, okay, the student, you, you mentioned, uh, I think you mistakenly mentioned September 8th, I think it 18. is 18. Yes, thank you so 18. much for the correction, yes. Yeah, and uh, yes. then, then yes. that correction, that uh, 18, now, then we are going to, going to have the person enrolled here. Yes. How long that uh, duration is going to take place? You, I think you mentioned about six months course. Six months is a semester. Semester, six months course. Yes, brother. In these six months, how long the theory, how long the practical? Mm -hmm. that, that is a very important uh, element here. So the first three months, mm -hmm. okay, if we began September 18, we need to think that is until October 18, first month, November 18, and December 18. 
So we have three full months only theoretical knowledge, mm -hmm. okay? And we will present to you after also to introduce to the online platform so that you have an overview about that. Access you are only going to receive when it, at least the application fee is paid and you as a student are approved. So after these three months or theoretical knowledge are done and all the assignments and quizzes fulfilled, then we go to a period of working in the fields. And for that, they are um, the unions and fields contact uh, from the site of Kibaha administration so that they know how the students that came from their specific location need to be introduced in canvassing work, administration work in the church, giving Bible studies, uh, working in evangelization um, activities, and so forth. So this will be a practical um, hands-in work. And then we have the third section of this semester and is the research paper. So for that are instructions given and that is a written material uh, as that reveal or, or show clearly your level of knowledge, uh, your capability of uh, research according to the principles that, of course, we will teach you during this um, period in the certification of Bible science. So these are the three main sections, theoretical, practical, and research. Okay. Now, with this, uh, I like to know that uh, the six months time period is divided into three plus three. Right. And, uh, and some people ask me, now, there is a pastor who is already taking care of uh, a church Mm -hmm. And he cannot leave the church and he has to continue with the work and he's of practically course. already involved in that work. Mm -hmm. And there are Bible workers, they have their own territory, they are working still under, under the supervision of a pastor. So can they continue in the same way and consider that work as their practicals or do you, you have any other addition given to them? So if they are already employed in the church, and they, of course, are performing all these activities, at least they need to report it. Mm -hmm. Because um, we sent a form to all the unions and fields or churches that uh, have en uh, uh, also students enrolled from these locations, and they need to report about behavior, punctuality, um, accuracy in the work um, and the general efficiency. So they need to give a report according what they observe based on the duties entrusted, the guidelines given to see if this specific student fulfill not only uh, faithfully but also efficiently the work. So if he's already a Bible worker his immediately superior, probably the pastor of the district or the field, need to give a report and send it to Kibaha administration about this specific period. Because we send to them a form based on how many hours for canvassing, how many hours for evangelization, how many hours for administrative work, how many hours for Bible studies. And they need to report if all these activities were fulfilled according to the time and the efficiency of it. So no matter if they are employed or not, but a pastor, for example, from a field need to be supervised, of course, by um, the president of the field or the union, and in the same way, this uh, assessment about activities and efficiency and time need to be reported in any case. Okay. Now, I have another specific question from a sister. Okay. And uh, this sister said that, okay, uh, she is engaged full time in the sense she's a volunteer mm -hmm. and she has her own employment, but still she's uh, full time engaged in doing translations and mm -hmm. helping the church. And she says, 
under no circumstances that she cannot do de- i mean she want to do this course and she is telling the i want to have more knowledge i want to do this can my translation work because i cannot that is the best i can do for the church because i cannot deviate from that okay so because she's always she says that you know it is very intense for her to do because there's no other person to help right and in this case can she consider this as part of the of course we consider every single case according to the circumstances uh we have places where our church have a specific conditions mm-hmm. and for that of course we we realize that and we provide special circumstances and accommodation for these cases so we need to know by the application that uh, these specific circumstances are present and we can adjust according to these circumstances okay. the same person told me that uh, made a request that if there's any possibility because i don't want to only to specialize in translation i also like to do canvassing i also mm-hmm. like to do many other aspects practical aspects at least online please right. let us have this practical perspective of this uh, mm-hmm. uh, of these topics or or these avenues so that she can have knowledge about this yes of course that that is it's a request from her yes that is uh, generally when we go to these uh, lectures that are based on canvassing personal evangelization uh, bible studies we explain not only okay what is a bible study what a bible study need to include but we explain how to organize a bible study how to approach people on a personal basis how you can um, know how is facilitated uh, to personal contact with people okay now there's another question that uh, they were asking me about this practical yes they said three months of uh, theory and three months of practicals mm-hmm. so won't there be any workshops and uh, and and any other practical uh, so you know the knowledge they get during these three months time to time from kibaha okay at this moment uh, we don't have that because what we expect is to entrust to the church to the field or to the union this specific student because the church already and the field recommended this particular individual as a potential worker or potential candidate uh, collaborator in mm-hmm. the work so uh, they will have uh, somebody superior in knowledge and also in position to introduce and explain in a particular way so um, that that is the reason why it's not included here because we entrusted to the instructors that are already in the field because it's a distance um, course Okay, thank you very much for that. Well, I'll go to the next question okay. that uh, many questions to cover. And uh, the next question is, how long is the study program? Okay, you answered that. Six months. Now six months and three yes. months plus three months. Now, the next extension of that uh, question is, can you study at your own pace or do you have to finish within that specified time period? and the person who asked me this yeah uh, told me that you know that particular person has a problem understanding it a little bit of a slow process of understanding she said okay. that you know when i study and uh, it is actually a couple of people told me this and they, they asked me this question because they said at once we won't understand it uh, we have to repeatedly repeatedly yeah. go a little s- slower so that yeah. we will get used to it because they say that one person told that you know i can't remember all what i studied in the school because i way far behind I understand. that uh, yeah. that kind of a situation so can yes. you explain that okay um we have a hybrid middle way system for that uh, what this mean is for example in the online platform you can see what you are supposed to do for every single day so that at the end of this uh, subject you fulfill everything so the structure is based on 
weeks. So it's saying, okay, in, first, in the first week, first day, second day, and um, all these days, you are supposed to do that. Quizzes and assignments are always and generally at the end of the week, okay? So these are compulsory dates. These mm -hmm. cannot be changed. Mm -hmm. But for example, uh, if you was unable to log in on Monday, uh, don't happen anything. But you need to know because you will have the schedule that every Thursday or every Wednesday or every Monday, whatever it is, you are going to have the quiz, you, you need to submit assignments or book reviews or whatever it is. So this allows you, as I have said, a hybrid system. So you have dates that are in a mobile, so you need to know. But this don't mean that every single day at the same time you need to be present. So the point here is the lecture, for example, is always a video for every single subject. So, and for every single day, so you can see these lectures as many times as you want, okay? And at any time that you want. And that is very, very significant. You can go also in a quicker way if you want to advance, because you say, for example, next week I will be on a trip and I will be unable to fulfill my due date. We can open for you the quiz so that you can do it in advance. Mm -hmm. So here is the thing. So it's a level of flexibility that is significant, but they are dates of quizzes or final exam of assignments or book reviews that cannot be changed, okay? But you can plan ahead knowing how is your situation, uh, especially if you work all day, Okay, but yeah. you will use every evening one hour uh, to, to follow uh, the lectures and the assignments. That is absolutely possible. You can do it mornings at people that work in the evenings or in the afternoon or early in the morning. So that this level of flexibility is available. Um, but uh, as I have said, uh, you need to be very conscious, very committed, and very organized so that the, the fulfillment <coughs> excuse me, of the dates will be uh, correct all the time. Okay, thank you very much for that explanation. Yeah. I have another unique question that they're asking, do you have any one study program or everyone have to follow? Or do you have different levels? Because this mm -hmm. question they're asking because there may be senior pastors want to join and study. Yes. And uh, maybe another, just a Bible worker, another level. Yes. Sometimes someone coming as a student or just finding some time and the parents want them to study. Yes. Okay, they are coming as young kids. Right. So do you have different levels so or at, you have one program? At this moment is one program. And that is the fundamental elements that everybody need to know. Now, when you go to several issues, for example, when we study prophecy and we go to the seven churches, the seven trumpets, the seven seals, are very heavy material here. And probably a pastor knows all this, but we go into details. Um, and beside that, they got the information in a more extended version with the textbooks, because sometimes we know because somebody explained it to us, but we don't have the biblical background, or we don't have the quotations of the spirit of prophecy, or we don't have the textbooks to go back and say, okay, here you go, here is that, I, I, I can review it, I can go through one more time. Uh, many Bible workers or ministers they develop working on the field. They didn't have the opportunity to go to a missionary school to spend one year or two years only doing that. 
and they realize they, they need to update themselves. They need to know more because the challenges become more um, <laughs> open in, in the present society. So by learning online about this subject, you can accommodate it according to your position and your knowledge uh, what you really uh, pre-select as the more fundamental elements, but at this moment is not based on um, office or um, kind of a spiritual hierarchical Level. structure in the church. Yes. Okay. The extension of that question, they're asking what next? Because they okay. do this course, yes. do you have the next level? Okay, we are working on that and the plan is to establish also supplementary classes about subjects mm -hmm. so that you always um, have um, um, more knowledge in about more specific elements like church history, archaeology, anthropology, uh, nutrition and many other elements that need to be added on that. So the program allow us to add it and also to complement this basic level here. Okay, thank you for explaining that sister. Yes. I have uh, another question here and they're asking all the instructors and the teachers are members of the church? Yes, all our instructors are members of the church and all of them are uh, certified by the church as uh, teachers that qualify according to knowledge and faithfulness to the truth that we represent. Okay, thank you for that uh, answer. And uh, do you give a certificate or a diploma end of the Mm -hmm. com uh, successful completion and also they're asking what is the secular value of the certificate or diploma from Kibaha? Okay, so it's not a diploma, it's a certification. What is the difference? So a certification is because it's only one semester, okay? So um, by this certification, uh, what we uh, offer to you is not only um, the registration accredited that we have in the Biblical Institutes in Kibaha, Tanzania, but this is also linked as a branch of um, the um, school, that academy that is established and registered in the United States, in the state of Georgia, by the General Conference. Okay. The next question they're asking, is Kibaha like a, Kibaha, the, this particular Bible science or Biblical science program is like a missionary school experience or is it like a secular university diploma or certification program? Both. The, the, the idea of the curriculum mm -hmm. is created in such a way that um, it's not so basic that it's only okay for a member that is satisfied to know the 37 principles of faith and that's it. Mm -hmm. But if you are a member that are committed and wish to give witness of the truth, whatever cir circumstances you are in, then you will receive a very extended knowledge about what we believe, why we are who we are, and the justification of our existence. Yeah, because, uh, because the next question is talking about some government, uh, governments and some countries require mm -hmm. some sort of certification from our pastors, ministers or Bible workers. Absolutely. And uh, in this case, can this be a complementary uh, uh, you, you know, certification that they can show that, okay, yes, we did this course and they can show that. Absolutely. And that was one of the main motivations to establish this certification because it's not only that you are online and you make your assignments, if you pass all the sections of the uh, semester, you will receive a diploma, you will receive the transcripts and also your recommendation letter. 
So this allows you to be certified as if you are a Bible worker or a pastor to have an academical background for this uh, clerical position or the spiritual position that you represent in your country, especially if you uh, you will be transferred as a pastor or a Bible worker. We will strongly recommend it to go through Kivaja because then you have the certification that you are not only a pastor, but you have the academical background to receive this title. It and is from United States, where the headquarter of the General Conference from the institution that you represented, give it to you. Okay, thank you for that explanation, sister. I have another question that, you know, they are asking about, will Kibaha students be able to find employment in the church after completion of the course? That this depends about the results and the fields and the churches and the unions where these um, students are coming from. You know, the, the idea is that we need workers, we need people, even if it's only volunteers or part-time uh, collaborators of the work. But you know, when you have the knowledge and at the same time you know how is the logistic in the church, and that is the reason why one part of the study includes hands in. So you will be in your local church, you will sit a couple of hours with the treasurer so that you will see how to add the archives, how to fill out a transfer of member from one church to the other with the secretary. You will know how to keep inventory. Uh, you will know how to organize an evangelization activity, how to give Bible studies, how to canvas. So it's not only that you will have a, a completely uh, distance between knowledge and reality or practical way, but you will be there, you will know the people. And if you are efficient and in this field or union they need workers, probably they will consider you for a candidate. Okay, so there is another question and a suggestion. Actually, they are asking, okay, now I am coming from, uh, actually the person who was asking this, uh, they are asking like, okay, if they are coming from a place mm -hmm. where there are Bible workers and there are enough of people to work. So yes. in, in this case, won't another country maybe speak in the same language. I'm mm -hmm. just adding that. And uh, hire them or ask them to come and work for these three months and work for that. And do you have any program as such in uh, included in this Kibaha program? Okay, uh, as I have said, the application, the first application that we show you um, explain where you are located mm -hmm. and which are you uh, experience as a member. So if you express there your wish to work in the church in an active way, um, of course you need to show clearly at least during the first three, uh, three uh, uh, the first quarter, the first three months, that you are committed, that you are punctual, that you are responsible toward uh, your study, that you pass in a very prominent way with your grades all these subjects, then we come the period of the practical way, of course this will be considered but we cannot guarantee or promise to anybody anything without knowing in advance that you uh, fulfill your responsibilities to the full and even behind, beyond that and that you feel the call of the Lord and that is very very important so um, if you feel the knowledge that is lacking you in the truth that you know and you realize, okay, I need to know more, I, I wish to be more active in the church, okay, begin with that. 
if you are already a Bible worker and you realize, okay, are mm, uh, knowledge that I am very lacking in and I need to dip in, uh, that is the option for you. If you are a minister that never had a formal education or academical background in religious studies, that is absolutely a must for you because that is a short course that will not only uh, satisfy um, your position already as pastor, but at the same time you will feel confirmed in the way how you implemented and extended uh, your knowledge. So for the different situations is a way if you want to be part of the worldwide mission and move out of your country, mm -hmm. so it's another program that is the foreign mission program organized by the General Conference. So you need to contact your union or field, then they will introduce you to the division and according to the recommendation, the knowledge, the behavior, the level of responsibility and your age, uh, maybe they will recommend you for a foreign missions program. This is to begin the work in another place or to collaborate in a new field or something similar on this way. Okay. Uh, I'd like to ask you this last question, but it is the most important question. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, coming back to the fee structure. Okay. For the six months course, how much is going to cost a student? 1,200 US dollars. That is 1, the completely cost, okay. but here is the thing. You don't need to pay the 1,200 at once. Okay? So that is very significant. So here, uh, as we have shown the general structure, so we have seven, seven uh, subjects that are with lecture included. Mm -hmm. So every, I, I, re, I strongly recommend that you to go to the website, uh, and that is www.kivaja-sda1884.org, okay? And then uh, you go there to application, and then in application you will find down here, you see, you have all the applications here and then you have the fees and you have here the scheme of the study and that is very significant so far because generally they are accommodated two by two and then you pay according to the subject that you are taking so you don't pay 1200 since the beginning so you pay first the $25 for the enrolling fee. Okay, that's it. You pay that, you have sent all the documentation, you will receive a letter of approval, and you will receive also a password mm -hmm. to go in the online platform where you will have access to all the courses, all the lectures, all the videos, all the quizzes, all the assessments, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And there you have also an introductory a course how to navigate on the online platform, okay? Mm -hmm. So, now, for example, science of salvation and principles of faith are the first uh, two subjects to study. As you see here, you see the number of credits. The, the credits, for example, for these two um, items are clearly presented here. And then you need to multiply by the value of a credit that is $15. So you know how much you need to pay between the first and the second week at the beginning of the course. For example, uh, the total credit for Science of Salvation is for credits. For principles of faith and bibliology, everyone is 15 credits and 15 credits, so it's very easy. You take your phone and then you make the multiplication. So 15 
multiply by 15, so the price of the course of bibliology is $225. Principles of Faith is $225. So you multiply by two, and the total for these two is 450. So you don't pay the $1,200 at once, you pay it through the three months period, according to the subjects assigned to you. Okay, so it is clear with that. So in yeah. this structure, we find that, okay, lecture, tutorial, practical, and assignment. These are the columns we have. Yes. So for example, I take the, I, I get this first column, it's lecture. Yes. Now, science of salvation, you have 12 lectures. Yes. And tutorials, you receive uh, five tutorials. Yeah. And practicals, you mm -hmm. have 12 practicals. And the practical assignments and... Yeah, quizzes. And then and so quizzes forth. and so yeah. on. And assignment, you have four. And uh, then you have come, you come to the credits here. So each credit is $15, you mean? That is right. Okay, so that is what I wanted to... Yes. Uh, clarify because so that yeah. so that the people understand. So the one thousand two hundred dollars is not a unique payment; is a trajectory payment. What this means is that you pay it according to the progress of the quarter. Okay. So in general, it is between the first ten days when this new subject began. Okay. Okay. And so. we will send you an invoice. So you will be reminded and you will receive all the information. Uh, you can do it and there in the invoices the information. This can be by bank transfer or by Western Union. So they are different ways of payment, more comfortable according to the place where you are located. Now, if you don't pay or you cannot you will receive a message that if you don't pay in the next 48 hours, your um, privilege to be in the online platform is expiring. Now, you need to make sure that you can pay, and there are different options. If you have the money, it's no problem, okay. <laughs> of course. Now. Let us see, you don't have the money, or you have only part of the money, uh -huh. okay? So, uh, you go to the website and you find there are different ways of a sponsorship. For example, <clears throat> if you are a minister, mm -hmm. a ordained minister working in a field, in a church, junior division, you are employed by the church, you can request a financial support from your local um, church, field, or union, or division, okay? You can request that. You can request to the level of the division or even to the general conference. And there is a form in the qualifications that you need to fulfill to apply for that. This can be 100% or this can be 50% or 25%. This depends. So this option is available. And you need to do it before because this will take time. And if you don't have done that in advance and secure a sponsorship, then your access to the platform will expire. Okay? So the sponsorship section is available. For the ones that already work, pastors and Bible workers part-time or full-time and for that they need to apply in the local level of organization. A, a second option is to look for a sponsor uh, based on private people. Okay, We have members in our church that are willing to help young uh, people to go and to learn so you can request also um, help for that. You can create also a fundraiser uh, for this. So they, they are different ways, but, but what we don't recommend that you is to register, to pay the $25 fee, and then because they are not refundable, then 
after the first 10 days of enrolling, you will be no more able to access the online because no payment is available. Okay, so you need to make sure about these options. If you have any doubts how to proceed, which are the requirements or qualifications, please write to Kibaja, Brother Daniel Kimeo is the administrator of Kibaja. Uh, in the website is all the information to contact him and then he uh, will explain to you even further uh, what is needed. Um, let me go back to the uh, website and here we have also the information that you need when you go to contact and then um, you go here and then um, you have um, not only uh, emails uh, but also physical address and telephone number and the hours for consultation and beside that you can write also to uh, the general conference regular uh, email okay so we are here to help and we will are more than thankful um, to provide for you all the information that is required okay thank you very much for giving all this uh, information sister and uh, i believe that uh, most of our viewers uh, have got uh, got the information and uh, many questions are being answered and uh, I think you know prayerfully take a decision and uh, we encourage each one of uh, one of you to join this program and get the benefits and it is uh, it is a promotion required there's a promotion required from each fields and unions uh, to promote among the local churches to many people to join this program so that they their own church is going to get benefited absolutely yes so this is very important and uh, i think uh, it is important that we we all need to understand that the knowledge we are going to get from this uh, course and also also the know how i mean we we are going to have the practical knowledge especially it's going to really going to bring the quality of the church yes elevated. i think so so yes, i sure. think this is going to be a huge blessing for all of us and uh, may the good lord help this good work and uh, this Kibaha Institute to go forward with uh, success stories, very big success stories and, uh, and uh, I hope you will have more success stories in the website so that it will be an encouraging yes, we will uh, try to yeah, add encouraging yes. to others as well. So thank you very much for answering us uh, all these aspects. Sister, you, do you have any last words to give? or um, you have anything or you added everything and yes i added everything <laughs> but i wish to motivate and appeal to our members our workers and pastors in the different levels of the mm -hmm. church i think um, uh, will be a very satisfying and rewarding experience to go through this uh, wonderful study uh, it's very dynamic by the fact that you have all uh, the explanations in video that you can see it as many times as you need um, you have the possibility only also to prove yourself if you understood correctly by answering the questions but going through the book reviews by doing the assignments that prepare you for the quizzes and that is not only if you already have an office in the church but only as a member to feel secure and confirm in this what we believe is absolutely fundamental to witness the truth and to be um, uh, happy with the wonderful truth that the lord has entrusted us so i encourage very much to enroll and to uh, be part of this wonderful project of learning. I think it's an appeal to many people, including the parents. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. So thank you very much for uh, all this uh, information. Sister, I would like to invite you to have the final prayer. Thank you so before much. Before we conclude today's program. Our 
Our Father in heaven, we are so thankful for the opportunity to consider the possibilities to enlarge knowledge, to become more efficient, and to know more about the wonderful truths in the Holy Scriptures. Please, Lord, remain with us. Uh, give us um, the encouragement that we need to accept the challenge to know more, to make more efforts, and become more efficient, and also happy Christians in sharing with others these wonderful truths. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you once again for all our viewers for joining us today's program and uh, I trust that uh, it is a blessing for all of us to know about Kibaha Institute and uh, until we see each other on another Q&A program, God bless you, God be with you. Mm -hmm.